Climate change is causing the glaciers of northern Pakistan to melt at an increasingly fast pace. In response to these melting glaciers, an indigenous practice of glacier grafting has been preserved by the people of Baltistan, known as Gangswa. This indigenous practice is considered as sacred as the union of marriage. A site of an altitude higher than 4,000 meters and a soil temperature below zero degrees Celsius is selected to ensure minimum exposure to the sun and maximum exposure to the wind. A terrain with the debris of stones and boulders is identified for glacier breeding. The community members transport the ice pieces to the ice well in by hook baskets on their backs, continuously walking on foot without any break. Ice masses are collected from 12 different glacial sites with equal parts of the female Mo Glacier, which is relatively transparent, and the male Fo Glacier, which is darker in color due to its debris. Three to four elders, considered to be the parents of the glacier being grafted, get inside the ice well to perform the plantation ritual of the ice masses. Pieces of the Mo and four glaciers are placed side by side. Organic water is sprinkled onto the ice and catalysts like coal are added to the ice well for the glaciers to amalgamate at a faster rate. Apricot kernels, pumpkin pods and husks of wheat are placed with the glacier and a blanket covered with apricot nuts secures it. To consummate the wedding, a folk song is sung as a lullaby by the parents for the baby glacier. Verses of the Holy Quran with narrations of the Battle of Karbala are recited and a goat is sacrificed to conclude the plantation ritual as a union of these glaciers. The breeding site is left untouched for the next five years to protect the glacier from worldly influence. GLOF2 project, a joint initiative by the Ministry of Climate Change Pakistan and UNDP supported by the Green Climate Fund, is working together with communities in 24 valleys in 18 districts of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa and Gilgit, Baltistan. The project is helping in preserving indigenous practices, which ultimately become a source of drinking and irrigation water for the locals, ensuring the growth of native flora and fauna for a sustainable future.